It's time to wind the clock back to 1984 to see how well this classic arcade game has stood the test of time. I'm Kutsky and this is my review of Arcade Archives Bomb Jack for Nintendo Switch. Get ready! People always talk about the addictive nature of the very early arcade games. The single screen, high score chasing games of the 80s. I never really understood this growing up in the era. It was fun to play a game once or twice, but then I always wanted to move on to the next one. That was until I discovered Bomb Jack. That was the first time that I really learnt the mechanics of a game, studied the stages and happily played the same levels on repeat for hours to marginally increase my high score. Bomb Jack is a simple but endearing single screen platform game. The goal is to collect all the bombs on the screen whilst avoiding the enemies to proceed to the next stage. The twist is one bomb on the stage is always lit. Clearing a level by collecting the bombs in the correct order indicated by the bomb with a lit fuse results in a huge end of stage bonus if you can achieve this perfectly without dying. Admittedly, as much as this is the true way to play the game, I have just as much fun simply clearing the levels in the most convenient order to see how many stages deep I can get. The controls are as basic as they come, one button to jump and a joystick to move. But the controls are so tight and responsive, it still feels satisfying to play almost 40 years later. The arcade port comes to Nintendo Switch courtesy of Hamster's Arcade Archive series, and as you would hope, this is a perfect conversion. The port comes with all the modern conveniences you'd expect, such as save states, various graphic options, such as wallpapers, scan lines. There's even an option to rotate the screen 90 degrees, as the original arcade machine had a screen mounted vertically. Although this isn't really necessary, it's a cool option, especially when you play in handheld mode if you've got one of those flip grips. You could play in tape mode. Tape? Tate? I never know how to say that. There's an online high score mode where you can play the game with the standard settings to compete for high scores with players globally. I'm currently number 273 in the world, which I'm quite proud of to be honest. There's also the oddly named caravan mode where you compete for the highest score over a fixed amount of time rather than number of lives, which adds a new twist, but I tend to just spend most of my time with the original mode in the game. There isn't really a lot more to say, to be honest. It's a simple game, but having played most of the arcade games from this era, Bomb Jack has always been the one that I find myself coming back to, so I wanted to show it a bit of love. Maybe if you don't have the same nostalgia as me, the game won't have the same appeal, but if you do remember this classic from back in the day, or you just enjoy learning about the history of games, Arcade Archives Bomb Jack is well worth the £6.29 asking price. Hope you've enjoyed this short review, if so please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with new uploads and let me know in the comments what your favourite arcade classic from this era is. Thanks for watching, until next time this is Kutsky signing out, as always keeping the games alive. <laughs>